and welcome to another screen printing video by Cat's Pit Productions. Just a quick video here as we start to introduce you to the new AWT Rototex six color six station manual press. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to discuss very briefly is the build really quick here as we get into some of the functions in a couple more videos, right? Okay, so I wanted to say that, you know, uh, I'm very impressed with the build. It's so heavy, uh, it's, it's a tank, and that's why I call it Godzilla. All right, so when you look at it, you'll see that the print heads are basically black aluminum, and they're very heavily built, and most of the parts are actually aluminum, it appears, and we will confirm this with the factory, of course, but I did a magnet test, and we could determine that the side clamps are steel. And then a lot of the parts that make up the print head, or most of the parts that make up the print head, are actually aluminum. And that, I was really surprised to discover that a magnet would not stick to the pallet carousel, if you want to call it that, right? Or the pallet arms. So it's very cool. Let's, let's take a quick look at my uh, impromptu, or is that the word for it? My uh, haphazard makeshift magnet test to see what's steel and what's aluminum. All right, so check it out, magnet test, you know, just tells you what, what's steel, right, or aluminum. So the bar, the bar that holds the side clamps is, alu is aluminum. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so the side clamps that you can see, you know, well, the side clamps we determine are steel. Okay, but you can see again, the bar that holds the side clamps is not steel, right? The, all the parts, the majority of the parts on this print head are aluminum. I don't know if you can see this, if I have the right camera angle, but basically this, you know, when we do, even on the micro knobs, okay, the micro knobs, it doesn't stick to the micro knobs. So all these parts are, you know, aluminum, which is very cool. And then we have, of course, your levers, which are, which are plastic uh, type ratcheting levers. I forget what they call those. There's a specific name for these type of levers that do this uh, thing here. Okay, but you can see, you know, so the majority, and even this arm back here is not, can you see that? It's not, that's not metal. You mean, meaning, <laughs> it is metal, but it's not uh, steel. You know what I'm saying? You see it? It's just not going. Even this piece up here. All right, well look at, you know, I'm gonna do some magnet tests here, but I was show, showing you the print head on this one. So m the majority of this, besides the little bolts, like so th these bolts are, steel right but check this out which was really cool check out look at this let's go down here and look at the uh, the pallet carousel all right so this is this was a cool discovery because the deal is is when I first got this in I'm looking at these parts here and I thought they might be steel okay I didn't really you know look at how heavy it is look at this I don't even know what this is uh, three-quarter inch or something amazing right but then when we do the magnet test okay the base going on down here if you can see that this little base this box is steel but the pallet arm here let me see pallet arms the magnet will not stick to the pallet arms and it doesn't stick to the uh to that either the print or the pallet carousel whatever you want to call it okay everybody calls it something a little bit differently but this is what holds the pallets and rotates the pallets and it appears to be actually aluminum because it doesn't i can't get the magnet to stick staying with the pallet arms okay there you go here's your magnet test okay doesn't won't stick. 
Okay, so that tells me that it's, you know, usually that means that's aluminum and the rest of the base is gonna be steel. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so this press is gonna be very cool to investigate and check out and learn more about. So stay tuned for some more videos. We'll try to keep them short because there's a lot of, you know, stuff to go over on this press. It's very cool. All right, so stay tuned for more videos about the AWT Rototex. And don't forget that I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catsbitscreenprintsupply.com. All right, so if you need manual rotary presses, I have belt dryers, I have exposure units, uh, flash cure units, a lot of stuff that's available to order. Some of them have a lead time. So just give me a call or hit me up through the email on the contact us form on my e-commerce site, catsbitscreenprintsupply.com. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.